it's okay to fail, especially when you're not on 100% health-wise. It's perfectly fine to fail. It took some time for me to realize that, and also it took some time for me to be okay with that, even though I'm still not perfectly fine with it. But sometimes you're not on 100% and you should say, screw it, my health is way more important than this. In October, I started something new. I want to do a 30 day series. It's day three, day nine. It's day, I don't know which day it is where I was recording every day. The goal of this thing was to do as much videos as possible, although this was not daily vlogging, but I wanted to record every day in order to become more comfortable with the camera on a daily basis. Everything was going well. I was doing that project because I was having that skin issue, that atopic dermatitis issue. I'm gonna go to the pharmacy to search for this. And that little project of mine was giving me hope until the last few days. I was recording myself every day, everything was going great and I became too ambitious for my con condition and I basically sabotaged myself. That's what I'm talking about. This is another challenge of that 30 day series because my sleeping schedule is flipped. I wanted to do good and awesome video and I was not capable of doing that. So October passed and November came and I was aware that I'm feeling that 30 days challenge thing when I need to record myself. And I kind of started panicking because I was like, this, this is my first thing that I'm doing since I'm coming back to YouTube. I don't want to fail that. I already produced two shitty vlogs and I wanted only to improve the quality. So we're mid-November and I had two big trips in front of me. And in my head, I needed to do the impossible. In order to, to do a redemption for myself, I decided to do daily vlogging for the next 30 days. And in my head, everything sounded amazing because uh, I was having a trip to London in front of me, I was having a trip to Italy in front of me, and everything was fantastic and great. But in reality, it wasn't. Every time when I was trying to do something extra, something more, my dermatitis got flared up. And in this kind of situation, your health can really bring you down. But at the same time, life is saying that it's okay to fail. It's okay to do whatever you can. It's okay to not go the extra mile right now. It's okay to stay in your lane for now. I really thought that I will be able to daily vlog, but from day to day, in Italy, in London, from country to country, from town to town, I was realizing how everything is slipping away. How I was having two projects in front of me and I couldn't complete them. And, you know, everything in my mind was perfectly aligned. If I was able to do that 30-day vlogging thing, I would have ended the New Year's with a vlog where I'm saying Happy New Year's. And I've always wanted to have something for the new year. And if you're asking why, I cannot give you a good answer. Why? Why do I want that? Why do I want exactly on the new year's eve to upload something? Because it's perfect, you know? It's the end of something old and, starting and the start of something new. Everything that I'm trying to say with this video is it's okay to fail. And I know it sucks, and I know you're feeling down, and it sucks for you to be in your mid-twenties, you feel stronger than you ever been, you feel that you can hold the whole world on your shoulders, you feel super strong, at the same time you have a health condition that keeps you down. Stay strong. That's all you need to do, is to stay strong and not lose hope, and keep pushing keep pushing and try to find that boundary that 
is gonna keep you alive. I'm not the guy who have struggled the most. I'm perfectly aware of that. There are people with way worse conditions than mine. They don't give up and I hope they don't give up because everyone deserves to live a good life. The only thing that you need to do is to not give up. Everything will come at its place and life knows its job. Happy New Year.